All right, welcome back to Fresh Living. We're here with Karen Peterson from Oakdale Farms. Karen, thanks for coming in. We're making up a delicious yeah. recipe with eggs and veggies. Yeah, this is a great recipe because it fits a lot of people's dietary needs. You know, mm -hmm. if you're eating gluten-free mm -hmm. or any of those types of things. Paleo. Yeah, it can fit into that diet. Did you think Casey was going to be here? I know, I did. Like, I'm not doing bread. <laughs> no, no, no. I, he will eat this. I know, right. I thought that he might like this, but maybe maybe when he gets back. He yeah, he can some. try this. We'll so, let yeah. him know, so don't so, worry. Yeah. And then it's <laughs> topped with a delicious sunny side um, Oakdale egg and mm. uh, let's get started. Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we do? So you're just gonna um, heat about a tablespoon of um, olive oil. Could you use a spray? Over a pretty high heat and then um, you asparagus. Yeah, I bet you could, but you're gonna kind of stir fry it. So okay, so you want a little no, oil in there. Mm. It's not quite hot enough, but I can hear it, so it should be in a second okay, here. Ready right in a second. But yeah, so you're just gonna heat this um, over high heat, and then when it starts, you can kind of here it starts sizzling, then you can add it in. There we go. So okay. did you do one pound of asparagus? I Is did. That what you did? And you know, it's kind of hard to find asparagus sometimes, so if you want to use green beans, I made this with green beans and it was, it was fabulous. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. a good All right. alternative. And it's the that's same great. pretty color and everything like yeah. that. So you're just going to kind of saute that up. Yeah, saute, saute that up for a couple minutes. Um, and actually, before we even do that, we roasted some tomatoes. You can see these yeah, beautiful tomatoes right here. here. And I just did about eight grape tomatoes, cut them in half, put them mm -hmm. in no oil or anything. I just put them in the oven for 20 minutes on 425. All right. Okay. And they kind of get all yeah, um, roasted. sweet and delicious. You're and if you don't, aren't a huge fan of tomatoes, you could use like red pepper or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be yeah. delicious. So, yeah. So, watch out for the oil. Okay. I'm watching out. Yeah. <laughs> <No. laughs> we know it's going to be good. You know yeah. it's been a good day at work if you can put yeah. oil on your clothes. And then just, it's just really simple. Just some kosher salt. And this is just all to taste, so however you like it. Oh, that's perfect. A little bit of garlic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do some black pepper. Isn't it mm. amazing? It's, it seems so hard to eat veggies. And then we see how easy it is to prepare yeah, them. Yeah. Why am I not hard. doing this every I know, day? And you know what? I I would eat this every this recipe every single day. It's so good. And right. those are the pine so nuts, right? Yeah. Oh, and so I just put those. a couple of tablespoons in there, and you're going to toast it up. Mm. Saute it all with this. And then let's get our egg going. Okay. We're going to use um, the Oakdale Omega-3 brown eggs. And the reason I love these brown eggs so much is that they just have a lot of nutrition in them. Mm -hmm. um, now, what makes them better than just the normal egg? Well, I like them because they have 350 milligrams of DH, um, of omega-3s and then mm -hmm. 125 DHA, which is one of the most important omega-3s. Yeah, how come normal eggs don't have that? Um, because the chickens aren't fed um, the feed that they need to be All able right, to produce All right, that makes steak. a lot of sense. So, so that's what it is. So they your eat. chickens, you feed them the certain feed yeah. to make sure they produce yeah, the specific egg. Yeah, including marine algae and oh. flaxseed and things like that. So and no hormones. And no hormones or antibiotics are yeah. ever added to any of our eggs. And then eggs. you also have organic eggs too because I bought yeah, those right. from the store as well. Mm -hmm. And those um, just come from chickens that actually are cage-free and they mm -hmm. have never... Um, been fed anything that has commercial pesticides or fertilizer. They've never had a bad day in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're right. living pretty good. <laughs> but your other eggs that aren't organic really are just as good yeah. in a way, too. I, I, mean, I love them. And you know what? You know that they're they're from Utah. They're right, right here. They're fresh. They're in our local grocery stores. So they're just such mm -hmm. a good And product. you guys do a good job taking care of the chickens and the, yeah, what, the living environment and everything. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and fry this egg up. Okay, and I'm okay. going to turn this down. Is that okay? Yes, absolutely. You're watching that for me. <laughs> well, I'm talking okay, here. Okay, so what is the key to the perfect fried egg? I can't make them to save my life. Oh my, my husband gosh. does such a great job. He has them perfect. Really? Like, they flip perfectly. They taste perfect. The yolk is perfect. Mine's broken. Do you like the sunny side up? Is that I like, like it, it over easy. Over easy. So you flip it once. Flip it, yeah. I, I flip it, too. Yeah. Because like you can't flipped. deal with it. Did I tell right, you that already? Exactly. Well, I just imagine. A lot of people okay. say that to me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is I what I learned. You you baste it. So see how oh, I'm pouring the oil okay. over the top? Ah. That cooks the, it, the yolk. Yes. So if you're kind of freaking out about it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't like yeah. the white. But you still so want the pretty, right. the pretty yeah. yellow on top. That's oh, how you do it. Oh, Karen. Oh, good tip. Yeah. Okay. Hey. And then you don't have to worry about flipping it because I can never flip it right. You okay, know, yeah. I can, yeah, mine always breaks. All so right, we're going to finish this. We will come back okay. at the end of the show and taste this and okay. see what else is going on with Karen and Oakdale Farms. And stay with Fresh Living. We'll be right back.